I think I fucked up. What's up guys? I uh, just wanted to show you guys a real quick behind the scenes of how our podcast is set up and looks like. So yeah, here you go. Yeah, so I use OBS to monitor my camera while we are uh, doing the podcast. It makes it a little easier. Um, I have my mic set up to my audio interface there. I have one light here, one light here. Um, I use Logic to record the audio. But because today's a solo episode, I'm only doing one camera. I usually have two set. And yeah, that's my quick setup. I have a fear of being too comfortable. That I'm not going to develop and I'm not going to progress. But here I was putting myself in uncomfortable positions and developing skill sets that I hadn't had before. <clears throat> I think I fucked up. What I mean by that is I started a new chapter. I finished uh, the chapter that I was working on, but I started a new chapter and I started this chapter a little too difficult. I started by asking, what are your dreams and your visions for your life? I thought I knew the answer. I thought by this time I'd, I'd have a definite answer. At 19, I thought I had it. Uh, I think I know the direction that I want to take my life. I think I know where I want to go with my life. But to say, if I know what my dreams and my visions are for my life, I don't have an answer. I've been stuck on that chapter for about three or four days now. Like I've written paragraph over paragraph over paragraph and nothing seems right. And like the more I write and the more I read it, the more it just seems so insincere. So I stopped writing that chapter and I started writing a new one with this chapter that I'm working on right now. I don't know what the title of it's going to be called. I think I might call it unconditional love. That chapter unconditional love is my take on I think the progression of love through my life you know you have puppy love and it gets to a point where you grow with relationships and this isn't just you know boy meets girl girl meets boy you fall in love it was never like that and I wanted to talk about that I wanted to talk about the importance of my relationship not being like that because of external factors I learned how to love and the struggles of love even at 29 you know, I'm married. I've been in a relationship for a while. It, it's something that I still struggle with till this day. I learn about love every day that I'm with my wife. I learn about things that I didn't know about myself or my partner. And these are things that I think as a person you have to go through. And then as a couple, you also have to go through, you know, stages and phases of love and a relationship. Slowly and steadily, this book is coming together. And the more I see it, the more I get more nervous. I get anxious. I don't know how people will perceive this book or perceive my opinion on things or the way I see things. And it makes me, you know, extremely anxious. I don't want people to hate the book, but I also know that I can't control what people feel. Thank you guys so much for, you know, joining me on this, this little journey of mine. I'll continue doing weekly vlogs, vlogging my journey with this book and the certain things that I go through or certain things that I question. I think it's, it's just a beautiful way to let certain things out and to communicate better with you guys. I think it's something that we all go through. And when you feel alone or when I feel alone and posting these videos makes me remember that there are other people out there so you know thank you guys so much uh please like subscribe share these videos it's 
you guys are amazing. The endless love and support that you guys give me, I am going to be forever thankful. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.